Hello, welcome to Things to Do and Places to Go. We've got the All Park All Season Dining Pass, so we thought we'd try it out at Six Flags Magic Mountain, see if you get good value for money for having it, and to try out all of the food that's on offer. Now with the Dining Pass, you get two meals a day, and we'll put a running total up in the corner of the screen so you can see how much it would have cost without having it. Starting off at the Ace of Clubs, the tri-tip sandwich. Uh, we've got here lots of barbecue sauce on that. The ribs were really nice, very juicy, and like a, a prime barbecue pit. Uh, so I did enjoy those. Had them a second time without so much barbecue sauce. The pulled chicken sandwich was very nice again. A uh, nice smoky chicken flavor you have that. It was really nice with the salad. Uh, it gave it a nice bit of a crunch. The turkey leg was very smoky and surprisingly juicy. Not as nice as the one at Fiesta, Texas, but very nice overall. Food Etc. is the park's version of Panda Express, where you'll find very traditional food there. We started off with the teriyaki chicken bowl. We asked for it with no vegetables, which is why it looks a little bit bare just there. The sauce was actually quite sticky and sweet. The orange chicken bowl, very nice, but the sauce was quite spicy. There are two pizza places uh, you can eat at at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Primo's uh, Pizzeria is the first one that's up by X2 and New Revolution. Uh, we started off with the pepperoni slice. Very nice. Had a side of chips with that. Then we thought, you know what? I'm going to try out the mobile food ordering. And I ordered the penne pasta with marinara and meatballs. The sauce was nice. The pasta was cooked quite well, but the meatballs were just dry and horrible. Carlini's Pizzeria is down in the boardwalk section, and here they just do pizza. Of course, you get your size with this as well. So we tried one of each, uh, pepperoni and the cheese pizza. This is the pepperoni one. I actually preferred the pizza at this location. And if you look at the size difference between the pepperoni and the cheese, pepperoni one's much bigger. Twisted Witches is over by Twisted Colossus, and in here you could get the Coloss Witch, uh, but that's not on the dining plan. However, the pastrami sandwich was, so we had that. Uh, hot pastrami, uh, I've got a bit too much mustard on it, but the pickles, the sandwich overall, it was really juicy and a great treat. I really enjoyed that. Next time, not so much mustard. Over by Full Throttle, you'll find High Octane Wings, where you can get some very spicy wings, or you can go Screaming Spuds. Also, mac and cheese bowls available here. While we take a look at the seating in this area, can I ask you please to subscribe to the channel? Thank you. At High Octane Wings, I had the bone-in wings. You can also get boneless. I didn't have any sauce because I like to eat them plain. At Screaming Spuds, this is the barbecue chicken ranch. Very nice, but don't ask for anything off menu. We asked for just cheese. Look at what we got. At the back of the park near West Coast Racers, you'll find the chicken coop. A selection of chicken dishes can be had here, including the chicken and waffle sandwich. Uh, maple syrup and waffles, chicken and fries. That's your thing. That's where you need to go. Heading over to Bugs Bunny World. This is the children's section of the park. And over to Waskals. We use the mobile ordering again and very dry chicken strips we got went in complained and got a second set which were much better very juicy and they gave us some fries with these ones we ordered chips with the first set heading over to munchies which is a stand just outside of the food etc food court we mentioned earlier and here you'll find the only place in the park that serves waffle fries so we had the chicken strips here again nice and juicy but we got waffle fries now, this takes our total so far to $380.80 spent. We're not finished yet. Heading over to where the rapids are, we've got Katie's Kettle. Now, they do have an outdoor grill where they cook a lot of the food on and then take it inside. Bit of a Western theme you've got here. On the menu, you'll find some items that you won't find elsewhere. Western cheeseburger. So that's what I had to have. Double cheeseburger, bacon, onion ring, barbecue sauce. It was very nice indeed. We also had a salad while we was here, the chicken salad. The chicken was very dry. Sent it back much better on the second attempt. Hope you're enjoying the video. Please do like and share. Now we've 
Heading over to Big Belly Burger, again in the Boardwalk area, DC fans will know that name. Uh, their speciality is the barbecue bacon cheeseburger. It is on the dining pass, but I just had a regular cheeseburger. The salad was a little bit limp, but the burger was quite juicy, served with fries or chips as your side. Next to Johnny Rockets, probably the only chain in the whole park. And here we had the Rocket Double. Use the mobile ordering once again and another disappointing experience. As you can see, the burger looks like it's been sitting for a little while. Took it back and was given this one. Much better, much fresher, though a little bit too much seasoning on the burger. Very peppery. So that was our dining pass experience. Two meals a day. You could get it for $155 on the current Six Flags website. We bought it for $99 on Black Friday. We would have spent $456 on food just on this trip alone. That saved us $357.76. So if you've got a season pass, whether it's for one park or the all parks, add the dining pass to it. I think you'll end up saving a lot of money. We certainly did. Thanks so much for watching. Please do check out our other videos on the channel and please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care.